what's going on guys today i am back with another destiny 2 video and today i bring you news on a new pvp map or a reskin the prestige raid and more but before we go any further guys do you guys want to win some epic loot i've got emblem codes sparrow codes gift cards and much much more to win some simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below okay so bungie just tweeted out the reveal of a new pvp map called distant shore which looks great, and at first glance it kind of reminded me of another map. You guys remember Shores of Time on Destiny 1? One of my actual favourite maps from the game ever. It looks very reminiscent of that for sure. Actually to a point of me thinking, is this just a reskin? The more I look at it, the more I see it. Now to be honest it doesn't bother me much, like it will others. As I actually love this map, but seriously Bungie, you are reskinning old maps only a month after the game's release? That doesn't sit right with me to be honest. So yes, this Distant Shore map will come with Iron Banner tomorrow, and it will stay within the PvP map's rotation after the Iron Banner has gone. Now moving on, did you know the Prestige Raid also comes out tomorrow with Iron Banner? Well actually it don't, Bungie are holding it back for another week. Now they didn't give a reason as to why they are doing this, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that game breaking callous glitch. You know the one we could literally trigger a no ad spawn glitch? Which really, the ads when you think about it, were the only semi difficult thing about the callous fight. Without ads, I mean it's a walk in the park. So yeah, no doubt, they need time to fix the glitch, which I actually truly understand. What I don't understand is this glitch has been out for about two weeks now and it's taken them this long to realise about it and put a fix out for it. But yeah, Bungie are what Bungie are. Slow. Now Iron Banner will drop soon upon with a whole host of new gear which I cannot wait for and expect plenty of Iron Banner videos from me. Now Bungie have also stated that if Lord Saladin isn't within the tower upon your trip then simply go to orbit and go back again. I know of people including myself had issues with the faction vendors upon their arrival so I'm guessing the same issue might happen with Lord Saladin so if you do fly to the tower and you can't see him simply go to orbit and try again. Okay, so with Iron Banner here, uh, I thought I'd show you guys my actual setup I am using. Now, you know I main a hunter, and when I'm playing PvP, this is exactly how I roll. I always use the knucklehead radar, as I just love radar when aiming. It just it just makes things so much easier when you're trying to watch your back and your sides where you're aiming down sights. I've gone as well with new monarchy gear, as it just looks incredible, and it offers me 9 mobility, 4 resilience, and 1 recovery, and 9 recovery and resilience ain't uh, amazing on hunters and if you want great resilience or recovery you have to give up that mobility and in my opinion it's what hunters are all about so yes that is the loadout i'll be wearing on both my hunters on my titan i don't know yet um, i mean it's just a third character i've just put there in place to play when i'm bored with my hunters so yes let's not worry about a uh, titan so weapons i am using um origin story is my primary i mean like it's my go-to weapon uh, as a kinetic weapon uh, my secondary is a uriel's gift i know i'm using two auto rifles here a lot of people are going to say well you're a scrub you don't need to be doing that you should be pairing an auto rifle with a scout or an smg or a hand cannon or a sidearm but not me if i'm running out of bullets with this i either shade step to reload or i switch to my uriel's gift both absolutely incredible weapons at all distances really, I mean obviously not at scout distances which is real long, but still it's close to mid-range, even semi-long distances, these weapons do pack a mighty punch, so yes. But if we do go on bigger maps such as Shores of Time or Distant Shore, the reskin, um, I have scouts such as these right here, the Nameless Midnight. Now this thing is absolutely amazing in PvP, it seriously is. Not many people talk about it that much, if people are using scout rifles, they normally go with the Mido multi-tool, but me, Nameless Midnight for damn sure. If I want to get close up and personal, I will go with this right here, the Antiope D, which is probably the best SMG in the game. Like I said, Uriel's Gift is normally the weapon. This does it really change? I mean, I'm either using this or I'm using the number. Both are basically the same kind of weapon. One has more uh, range, uh, one has more reload speed. Uh, so yeah, it's, there's not much difference between these two. Both are absolutely amazing weapons. Uh, heavy, I normally go with a tractor cannon just for the fun of it. If I'm not using a tractor cannon, I use my main ingredient, which is just insane of a fusion for damn sure. But yeah, I normally, although I ain't great with a tractor cannon, I just find it super, super funny. 
trying to run around and get people with this. I mean, that's what PvP should be all about. It should be about you having fun, not sweating, not stressing, having fun. And I have fun using a tractor cannon. But yes, guys, this is what I'm going into the Iron Banner with. I don't care. I don't care. Now let me know the lore that you'll be using down below within that comment section. Will you be using the Mida Multi Tool? Will you be using SMGs? Will you be using hand cannons? Or will you be using amazing auto rifles? It reminds me of Destiny 1, Year 1, so so much at the moment. But I am afraid auto rifles will probably get a nerf pretty soon. Hopefully that time never comes. But yes guys, let me know the lore that you'll be using for Iron Banner down below within that comment section. Let me know your actual PvP go to loadout. This is mine for sure. Not sure about the tractor cannon, but definitely my kinetic and energy weapons. These are my gold too. And it's armor definitely. Well, to be honest, I actually mix and match all this light armor here. But the exotic, I always use the knockerhead radar. It's as simple as that. And golden gun for the win within PvP on a hunter. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hitting that like button really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.